creating test cases for sign up page i will quickly go through creating test cases for the sign up page for this demo template this is just a prototype template i made for explaining the fields and creating test cases for them keeping in mind the basic requirements for the sign up page we will write the test cases for example putting a valid first name last name valid email id or mobile number etc Suppose this is one section or module of some application for which you have to create functional test cases. First, you need to go through the application and check how many fields you have to create test cases for. I see the first name field, last name field, mobile number or email field, then the new password field and lastly the sign up button. In my previous videos, I mentioned how to create test scenarios, valid and invalid both for the application that is under test, how to identify each field and create scenarios according to the requirement. I took some examples of login pages and delivery apps requiring a mobile number for sign up. I showed you how to first create the scenarios and then execute the test cases later on. So to understand this, you may go through the video linked below in the description. In this video, I will explain how to create test cases step by step for the name fields, the first name and the second name fields for the sign up form. As you see, I have made a demo template for explaining the fields and how to identify the fields to create test cases for. So let's begin with the first name field. As a normal user, what will you do to sign up? You will simply type in your real name, right? A real name in this sense should contain at least two and more characters, say Abby or Mia or Ella, etc. Right? So this is going to be a valid test case for our test document. What could be the invalid test cases for the first name field then? For most of the applications, the name field accepts a minimum of two characters and alphabets only. So the invalid test case is if someone trying to sign up with the first name having only one character in it, then it is not a valid test case. So the test case we should write like this. Number one, enter the first name field with a valid name. That is the valid test case. Number two, enter the first name field with the invalid first name, which means only by putting one character in it. Okay, so this is the invalid test case. Number three, enter the first name field by entering only numbers in the field. That is invalid test case. So let's now jump into our Google Sheets where we created a suit for the sign up page. I'm going to show you how to write the test cases step by step in order to check the functionality of the application and execute them later on by you or another tester. And this is just for the name fields first. I'm on the test document now. Before I start writing the test cases for the demo application, there must be some precondition for it. For example, in order to sign up, I have to be on the sign up page, right? So the precondition for this is simple. Sign up page is open. That means I am already on the sign up page and it is opened to be filled. I'm writing this as a precondition for the sign up. Let's check the functionality of this module by entering the valid and invalid credentials into the fields one by one. I'm going to start creating test cases for the first name field. So I'm writing step one as verify the first name field by using valid credentials. So I'm writing it as verify first name field by using valid credentials. The next step should be click on the first name field in order to enter your first name. Next, we should enter a valid first name.
Now I am going to write enter all other fields using valid credentials because this is easy and quick to understand and saves some time. But you may also write like this, enter the second name field, enter the mobile number or email ID field and then enter the password field like that. But I prefer writing like this. And lastly, click on the sign up button. As you see on the sign up page, when we fill out each field with valid credentials, what would you expect from this? You simply expect that you should be able to sign up, right? If you put in the right credentials, then the expected result should be you have successfully signed up. Now I'm going to write the expected results for each step that should happen when we sign up for the application. So what happens when we click on the first name field? The first name field must be selected so that we can enter our first name. And this is going to be the expected result. So I'm writing it as the first name field should be selected. You should be able to enter your first name. When you enter a valid first name, the placeholder is removed and you should be able to enter your first name. So the expected result is the placeholder should be removed and you should be able to enter your first name. I will show you an example. You see this? This is a sign up template for Facebook just to show you how the sign up page should perform and what should be the expected results when we click on the fields. Bring your cursor to the first name field and then click and enter the first character or say the first letter of your name. You see the placeholder is removed as soon as you enter the first letter, right? Here as well in the last name field, you will see the same happening. The placeholder is removed as soon as you enter the first letter of your last name. And this is the correct expected result that we can write in our test case document. Now comes the next step which is to enter all other fields with valid credentials, which means when you input correct data into all other fields, including the first name field, it should be accepted with no errors showing on the system and you must be able to sign up. So I'm writing it. You should be able to enter valid credentials in all other fields with no errors. Lastly, click on the sign up button. The expected result should be that sign up is successfully done and you must be redirected to the home page or the page where you are supposed to be. This depends on each application that you will be testing. Always make sure to write the expected results once you read and understood the requirement document thoroughly and write them accordingly. Never assume without knowing and documenting false reports. You may also write step one as verify all fields by entering valid credentials. Both ways of writing this step will give you the same result. So it doesn't matter how you write. It matters the fields should be tested and the test cases that you write are easy to understand. And then other steps you can write like this. Click on the first name field, then enter a valid first name. Next, you should enter a valid last name. The expected result will be the same as above. The placeholder should be removed and you should be able to enter your last name. So I'm editing and writing the expected result as 
the placeholder should be removed you should be able to enter your last name Create another row below to write the next test case that is for entering a valid email ID or mobile number field to test. Also for the mobile number or email ID field, you have to test both things separately so that you know when you enter a valid mobile number into the field, it accepts or not or when you provide your email address, it accepts or not. And in order to test these, you have to create separate test cases. So here I'm first creating the test case case for email ID testing. Make sure to check your step numbers along with creating your test cases. Next, I'm adding another row to write test case for creating password. So here I'm writing Enter to create a valid password. The expected result for entering a valid email ID is once you enter the first letter, the placeholder should be removed and you must be able to enter your correct email ID. So when you write it, it has to be clear and in short. Since I am creating the test case for email ID, I am removing the mobile number here. And same with the create password field. The placeholder should be removed and you should be able to create a valid password. After you have entered all valid credentials into the fields and clicked on sign up, sign up should be successful and you must be redirected to the page where you are supposed to be. For example, home page or the main page of the application. So that's the expected result for this. I am quickly adding up the word valid in all fields above to be more specific and easy to understand. Make sure to go through your test cases after you are done creating all. It's very common to make mistakes, but that's how we all learn. Once you have finished writing all the test cases, the next step is to execute these by yourself or by some other tester. So whoever is going to test these test cases should mark the status as pass, fail, blocked or skipped. Now let's quickly check what other possible test cases we can create for this functional module and each fields to test. The second step that is the second test case is to verify the first name field by using another language. For example, if I have chosen Hindi, then it should accept the Hindi language. This is a valid test case for this application for sign up because it accepts other languages for signing up and that's why it is a valid test case. Now, the first step is you should click on the first name field to select. The expected result would be the same as above. The first name field should be selected and you must be able to enter your first name. Next, enter valid first name by choosing another language, for example, Hindi. And the expected result for this is the placeholder should be removed and it should accept the Hindi language or any other language that you are going to use.
The next step is to enter all other fields with valid credentials. I'm writing this in short because it saves my time and easy to understand. The expected result would be you should be able to enter valid credentials into all other fields with no errors. This means no red lines. The next step is to sign up. The expected result is sign up is successful and you should be redirected to the home page. The third step is to verify the field by using invalid first name credentials. For this, the next step should be click on the first name field to select. The expected result is the same as above. The first name field should be selected. You should be able to enter your first name. Next is to enter an invalid first name with one character, alphabets only. The expected result would be the placeholder should be removed. It must show an error message in red lines. Next, enter all other fields with valid credentials, that is valid test case. The expected result is the same as above. You should be able to enter valid credentials into all other fields with no errors, no red lines. Lastly, click on the sign up button. The expected result would be the sign up is not successful. It shows an error message which says enter valid first name. The fourth test case is to verify using numbers. This is the invalid test case again. Here you have to test the first name field by using numbers instead of alphabets in order to check if it rejects numbers or not. So the test case is invalid because only alphabets should be accepted in the name field and not any numeric value should be accepted. So in order to write this, you must write the steps like this. Click on the first name field to select. The expected result is the same as others. The next step is to enter the first name field by using any number, numeric credentials. Again, the expected result is the placeholder should be removed. It must show an error message in red lines. Next, enter all other fields with valid credentials. The expected result is you should be able to enter valid credentials into all other fields with no errors, no red lines. Then click on sign up. For this, the expected result should be the sign up is not successful. It shows an error message which says enter valid first name. There are more test cases that we can create for just the name fields that I will continue in my next video. Like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon to get notified of my new uploads. Thank you for watching.